recently, I watched all the X-Men movies. Now, before this, all I knew was like some characters' names like Wolverine, Charles Xavier. That was it. I'd seen Charles Multiverse of Madness and that was uh, the Patrick Stewart Charles, not the James forgot his surname, Charles. <laughs> so this video is potentially a short video of basically saying what my favourite movie of the was, do I prefer the older ones or those newer ones, favourite character, and that's what I'll go over today. And I'm also wearing a t-shirt of a character from a different universe. Hi, I'm Emily, I'm on to the video. So first off, you know, we'll go over the questions that I give myself then, the favour um, of new ones or the older ones of the movies, like the early 2000s ones or the early 2010s ones, uh, characters, and what was the other one? A uh, movie, movie of them. Yeah, so first off, newer ones or older ones? I prefer the newer ones. The newer ones are about the past. Um, and I didn't know at first that they took place in different universes, so I was very confused because I thought... um. Uh, the first, the 2000s X-Men movie was 10 years after uh, Dark Phoenix. So I was very confused. I was like, why have they got so old so fast? Why is Jean alive? What's going on? Why are they there? Why is she there? Why do they not know who she is? Why is she, why is, why is, why is, why is she was there? Why is she was there? Why is he there? Um, and then um, I was afterwards, I was like, okay, okay. In except that it's different universes. <laughs> Realized more well, like realized that the different universes because I was like, oh my god, plot holes, plot holes, plot holes, what's going on? There's so many plot holes, what's going on? I don't get it. But then I was like, it's different universes, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so of the um the newer ones, my favorite was uh what's it called? Days of Future Past. That's also my favorite of all. I really like Days of Future Past. I find it really interesting. The whole um like it's only Wolverine that can go back in the past because he can heal himself to to an extent. I feel like I should salute or something, you know, to a certain extent he can heal himself. I feel like I should just like salute or something right now. <laughs> I feel like I should like salute. <laughs> so, salute GIF on screen, maybe. Salute GIF on screen. Would have been on screen. Okay. Yeah, there's Future Pass. I really like that one. Um, I find it interesting in the new ones how they go over like um different decades at a time. So I think the first one's uh 40s, yeah, because it's in like World War II time. And then maybe it's like 60s, then 70s, then no, then 70s then 80s then 90s no this yeah 40s 70s 80s 90s I, I really like that concept how it goes over different decades it reminds me of um a uh, wand vision where each episode that is a different decade I, I think that's a really interesting concept and i like that uh let's see so if tony like, um with the older ones okay so the older ones my favorite of that one oh mm, oh do i give controversial answer Okay, so there was um, X-Men 2000s, just X-Men, um, and X2 and X-Men Last Dance. Oh, I know if I say... Okay, okay, okay. I know Last Dance and Dark Phoenix are the really unpopular ones. I don't get why. I know. Like, when I watch a movie that has bad reviews, because I don't really care for reviews, uh, I'll be like, Yo, I, I, it looks fun. I'm just going to watch it anyway. It looks fun, okay? It looks fun. Unless, unless it has... Okay, this is my rule. If it has less, 10 or less on Rotten Tomatoes, or like a, the one on like IMDb, that's a no-go. But above like three or less on IMDb as well, but like less than 10 on Rotten Tomatoes, anything above that is what I will watch. It's just if I know it's going to be like horrendously bad, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like not even funny bad, just like bad, bad. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't know what to stage where I can't like even just take the mick out of it. So yeah, out of the f uh, first group's X-Men movies, oh my god, um, I'm not really sure, maybe the first one, I like the first one, maybe thinking, 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 maybe the first one, yeah, we'll go with the first one, what's the first one? Um, the, the girl with the, the white streak in her hair, Rogue, where she got like captured by, I don't know, Metal Man, Metal, Ben's Metal Man, Ben Metal Man, uh, oh my god, I forgot the name of the main villain. Uh, da, 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 not Mysterio. That's the Spider Man guy. Uh, uh, Mystique. No, that's the that that's that's Raven. Um, 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 I forgot his name. Oh my god, the guy who bends metal, the main villain. 
um, who was friends with Xavier in the 40s and near the universe. Um, uh, it begins with an M. It begins with, can I just call Metal Guy? Because this is so bad that I forgot what his name is. Oh my god, it, his, name is, his name is always said. How have I forgot this? Oh my god, it's not, I keep thinking Mysterio, but Mysterio is the really cool Spider-Man villain. I'm talking about like, uh, Tangent, who my favourite Spider-Man villains are, Mysterio and Doc Op. They're top, they're like tied to number one. Anyway, we're not getting into Spider-Man villains, but Mysterio and Doc Op. Yeah, legends, legends. Okay, so, what was he saying? Favourite of them ones is X. The first one. The first one. Okay, so, characters. Favourite character? Okay, we'll do top three. We'll do top three because two are tied for number two and then one's just number one. Okay, so tied for number two, um, Charles and Wolverine. If we're talking which Charles I prefer, I prefer the ones that I said in the past. So uh, James and Obert Mick something. I prefer his... I'm sorry, I just... I, I prefer the stuff that's set in like, the past, you know, in the movies. I prefer the past movies. Obviously, Patrick Stewart's Charles Xavier is hugely iconic. In like super in superhero movies and just as elsewhere as us, hugely iconic. But uh, so Wolverine, I find him it's really interesting. It's like it's it's just sad. His story is so sad, but it's like, just like I said, really interesting. He's funny as well. It's kind of funny, <laughs> and he has cool jackets. Like whoever I I was while I'm watching um at the last dance, and I was and I was thinking. Whoever is the costume designer does a really well job for um at, at Hugh Jackman's jackets because they look really well in them. He looks the jackets look really good. I really like these jackets. <laughs> well, it's it's like would I wear them? Nah, but it's just they really suit him. The jackets just suit him really well. They're good jackets. <laughs> So yeah, my favorite character. Okay, so it's from the newer, the newer half, the um twenty tens, not the two thousands half, the twenty tens half, and Quicksilver. Now, Quicksilver, he's funny. I like his I like his little, like speedy thing, his power thing. And when um when he's in like the really fast scene, so the scene in is it Apocaly Apocalypse? The Oscar is a in Apocalypse where he's like the mansion's like burning down, like common and Bow sets it burns it down. The mansion's burning down. And then a group of people, and he's like running around saving everyone. That's slow my bit. I think that's really cool. I was watching something recently, and I had loads of stuff to do in. And it was a video about how um they do how they film um what we call it um slow mo stuff, and it's really interesting. I really like slow mo effects. I find them very they're really cool. They're really really cool. So yeah. Also, I wish I on I said this on stream and Leo was live when I was talking about the videos yesterday. So there'll be a bod if you um say go on the bod and then look at little X Men bod and it's always there. Because I always save all the vods on Twitch. Um, I wish I got the WandaVision cameo. I wish I understood like the hugeness of that beforehand. Because I remember when I watched that video, I was like, oh, wait, he's not Pietro. And then when I was watching the movies, I was like, oh, he did, he did the big Pietro guy. And then he said Peter. And I was like, wait a second, Peter. P P Peter? What do you mean, Peter? Is it? Is it Twins called Pietro. Where is Wanda? What's going on? What in the multiverse is this? Is this family thing going on here? <laughs> also, I I knew metal bending guy. I still can't remember his name. Was going to be um Quicksilver's father because I like, know in the comics it's his father, but in the MCU it's not. They're just from um a like um non hero mutancy um superhero family. I know they get their powers is different in the MCU as well, because at uh, uh, a Peter, I'll say Peter and Pietro. Peter in um the X Men world. Let's see, I'll just say Peter and Pietro, because then it's easier for me to grasp. Okay, so Peter, he's like a mute mutant, but in the MCU they get um him and his uh, uh Wanda, they get their powers from the Time Stone. Is that the blue one? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Power, power, power. Maybe it's power the blue one. It's the blue stone, the Tesseract one. The te the one that's in the Tesseract. It's, a it's either time or power, I think. No, no, time's the green one. Time's the green one. Because I remember um, Doctor Strange's necklace with, like, the eye. Um, I, 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 I'm sorry, anyone. I'm getting these names wrong. I can't remember the t me trying to name the time stones. I can always name before, and that's it, but we're not getting into, we're not getting into how many time zones. Uh, like, time zones? Times, times, infinity stones. Oh, my God. Those are the infinity stones, yeah. So, next one. 
yeah, some favorite movies that one, for, for the newer ones. But if I had to do like the top three movies, it would all be like the newer ones. So I would say uh, number one, Days of Future Past. Then, um, was it, da, 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 the desert, the Egyptian one was cool. I like the Egyptian one. Um, also, I felt I was like, I was watching it and I was singing Oscar Isaac. How, how, how are you putting up with that costume? <laughs> you, that costume must be such a pain because the amount you can just you can just tell the amount of layers and makeup, like how many hours you would have had to went through to get that costume on, like every day of shooting. That would have been such a pain. But you know what? Being in a movie like that, it's worth it. You just gotta think the movie is worth it. <laughs> and what of one? Oh my god, I'm so dark on this. It's gonna be really bad. That's a really bad thing. What was, it? What was that Hades one? It was that one and that one. That one. Future Pads is a verdict. Um, um, I, I like Dark Phoenix. I'm sorry, I like Dark Phoenix. Also, when um Jean goes into Phoenix mode, Phoenix mode, it, it's so Scarlet Witch. Like, the way she dresses as well, all the red and stuff, it's just extremely Scarlet Witch. So that's why I'm like, when they were, like, making um the Dark Phoenix character of the comics, um, I want to know what was first, Scarlet Witch or Dark Phoenix, because one was definitely, there's definitely some, like, inspiration going on when making them, when making uh, them comic characters. There must have been a lot of inspiration from, from, from whatever one was first. And, you know, I, d I don't really like when good characters go bad. It's just sad. It's like, man, you were so lovely. Why did you do that? I know. I know everyone loves Scarlet Witch. Everyone's like, Scarlet Witch, you're so amazing. Oh, my God, she's 74. A twi on, 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 people online be like, she's 74. She's a nice person. She's the best. Like, yeah, I liked her when she wasn't bad. I just, it's not that I don't like Scarlet Witch and, like, Dark Phoenix, but I do like them. But I prefer them so much when they were nice. I just, it's just good characters going bad is so sad. I know character development, yeah, yeah. But bad characters going good, nice. Good characters going bad, sad. It's just sad, man. So yeah. So overall, I really enjoy the X Men movies. Um, I'm very excited and curious to know how they're gonna make MCUify them. <laughs> I, that's the second time in the last two days I've said the adjective MCUified. <laughs> no, I, I thought of it yesterday. I didn't say it. So I'm like, today, you know what? Right now, MCUified. I will say it. How they're gonna? I'll, I'll, give, I'll just keep using that word because I don't know what else. I don't know what other, other, other adjective to use. MCUify them. Um, I'm curious how do if they're gonna get a new Professor X or not. Um, how many, if they're going to keep any of the original mem 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 members, mutants, mutants, they're going to keep any of the originals, or are they going to get completely new slate? Because they know from the thousands to the, um, 2010s one, they do, they change most of them, but they do keep some, like the obviously kept Wolverine, Common and Rose. Um, what's Jean? No, do you want, no, what's the name? Uh, Raven, Raven wasn't the same, no. And obviously X wasn't the same. Well, Wolverine stayed the same. But I know they'll, they'll get someone else for him now. I'm wondering, so yeah, how many they'll actually keep. How many actors they'll keep for it. How many original mutants. What ones they'll put in it. What ones they won't. I'm very curious to see that. So yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, people, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow Twitter, at Emily's Videos underscore. And the Twitch, Emily Rose Live. And I'll see you next time, people. Bye. Yeah.